Like all other countries, Russia has quite a few theme parks and regular carnivals that feature all sorts of crazy rides. And thus, it too has its share of amusement ride incidents, unfortunately. Just recently, during a national holiday, a horrific incident took place at a fair in Orenburg Park. The terrifying incident was captured on camera, and sadly, many of the injured were children. So, we take a close look at the circulating video and the information available. We can only say that it's quite a miracle that nobody died. Still, some of the injuries were serious. Many recently asked us if theme park accidents happen in Russia more than any other place, like the USA or European Union. And also, what happened at the Orenburg Fun Fair? Was it preventable? So, stay tuned for an intriguing journey into Russia's most notorious theme parks and the horrific recent incident that once again reminded Russians of one of the most deadly horrific theme park incidents to ever take place in Europe in recent years. Before we get into the rather scary stuff, let's take a quick tour of Russia's top theme parks. Mind you that one of them comes with a horror story attached. So in February 2020, Moscow witnessed a massive, marvelous event. It was the grand opening of a one-of-a-kind theme park called Dream Island. It is, and probably still is, Europe's largest indoor theme park. Almost half of the 150 acres theme park was covered with a massive glass dome because, as you already know, Moscow has very long, very snowy, very cold winters. I think they get warm weather and sunshine for like two months per year up there. Nevertheless, they aced it and they made a massive, attractive indoor park for love fun for all ages. It even features a crazy roller coaster with mad inversions and other rides that suit every taste. It's also open if you decide to get a taste of Russia's Komrad, no pun intended. Seriously, Russia's twice the size of the US and it's a very beautiful, safe, developed and progressive place. So for the developers in Moscow, opening a theme park that includes a massive water park within it shouldn't have made sense unless it's open year round and for 1.5 billion bucks they got their dream. In this fun mania spot, there are nine themed zones, including Hotel Transylvania, licensed from Sony Pictures. The Smurfs, licensed from the Belgian company IMPS, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Paramount, and Hello Kitty from Sanrio of Japan. Hence, it's pretty international. What? You thought they built the Comrade Lenin coal mines ride and Stalin shoot a Nazi sniper range? No, 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 that'd be fun though. It is modern Russia, not the 1930s, unfortunately. They even have promenades resembling the streets of world capitals and famous cities, including Rome and the, with a Colosseum in miniature, Barcelona with Gaudi's buildings, and London's Big Ben clock. And of course, we can't just skip the matter of roller coasters because they got a few, such as the Race of the Future Spinning Wild Mouse and Shred the Sewers, an awesome multi-launch coaster themed to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which boasts four inversions and can reach speed up to 50 miles an hour. I love roller coasters. So good. Okay, so the sad stuff now. Another one of Russia's famous parks is Transvaal Park, which was a popular water park in Yesenovo in South Moscow. It too had a massive dome to make it available for patrons all year round, and it featured unique heated pools, including a wave pool and a twisted river for tubing. It became one of the most popular attractions in the Moscow area, and a symbol of the country's bloom of private enterprise. However, the joy and happiness associated with this magnificent water paradise among the Russians didn't last. Less than two years after its grand opening in June 2002, the roof collapsed at exactly 7.15 p.m. This was on February 14th of 2004, and 28 people were killed, and that includes eight children. Additionally, 193 people, including 51 kids, were injured, some quite seriously. It was a truly horrific nightmare, and since it's not the incident we promised to cover in this video, we'll cover it in another video. So, yeah. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon. So, let's take a look at a less deadly but still very sad and terrifying incident that happened in Oldenburg, Russia earlier this month. The incident occurred on Saturday, May 6th, during celebrations for the 50th anniversary of the Soviet Union in the main city of Oldenburg's park. Oldenburg is a beautiful Russian city of about 600,000 people, and it was historically known as Shkalov. Today, it serves as an uh, administrative center in Oldenburg Oblast. By the way, Oblast means regions or province. So it's located in western Russia on the Ural River at the Sakhmada confluence. So it's a very advanced city with major engineering industries producing heavy industrial and agricultural machinery. It also produces a range of consumer goods and foodstuffs. Additionally, it's rich since it boasts natural gas facilities. Anyways, it was a, it was a fine Sunday. The weather was good and happiness filled the place when disaster suddenly struck. 
The horrifying incident was captured on video, and it shows a chair swing ride, a carousel type, collapsing very violently and very quickly. Almost everyone who was on the ride was injured. Two of them, including a 10-year-old girl, sustained serious injuries. The little girl is still in a coma. We forgot to mention that the incident didn't take place at an amusement park. It happened in the city's main park during the national celebrations that were organized by the municipality. The ride was a rental. The children and the young at heart riders were going round and round relatively fast, laughing and smiling in their seats which held by chains to the swing's roof, when suddenly that roof collapsed, sending the riders to the ground while the ride was moving. And in a scene from hell, the roof along with the chains fell on top of their heads. That was something that nobody would ever want to see. The person who was filming the horror as it unfolded on their smartphone had a child on the ride, and we can only imagine the shock and the pain that they had to endure. The locals in the park rushed to the crash site quite fast and began pulling the injured and screaming trapped riders from the mangled remains of the collapsed ride. A total of 12 children and 12 adults were injured. Almost all of them were treated and released from the hospital, except for a 27-year-old woman who is now in stable condition and a 10-year-old girl who sustained serious head injuries and was still in a coma at the time that we make this video, unfortunately. Even though 10 ambulances arrived at the scene in merely 8 minutes, some of the injured were transferred by their families in cars to the hospital which according to the authorities and experts is a big mistake since moving an injured person by non-medical staff can make their injuries worse. The whole city went into a state of shock and the police placed some people under arrest, bending charges, and to ensure that any possible criminal negligence suspects don't skip town while detectives investigated. As soon as the investigators arrived at the scene, they uncovered that the 17-year-old carousel ride was poorly maintained and that it seemed the owner was masking the rust with paint to make it look new and safe. Within hours, the mayor's office announced that the incident occurred as a result of a mechanical failure. However, the mayor's office itself by this time was under investigation because it was partly responsible for the rental rides at the fair and all related inspections. It was simply obvious that someone was cutting corners. The investigators soon began questioning the operator and the owner of the ride. They cited that the owner provided guarantees that the rides he provided were well maintained, regularly inspected, and safe. However, the incident showed otherwise. As a result, the Dzerzinski District Court of Odenburg chose a preventative measure in the form of arrest for the director of Attraction Service LLC, which owns and operates many rides, including the carousel that crashed. The names of the victims have not been released, and the investigation is still ongoing. Did you know that the main risk of swing rides is that the safety bar and strap can be removed easily by the riders, and that even 30-year-old swing rides are still used at many theme parks? Yeah, fun fact for you today. Did you also know that since these rides usually have minimal size requirements, which means that young riders who are riding in a chair by themselves may get scared and panicked and thus remove the safety bar or belt, so please stay safe by making sure that the rides children use do not have easy to remove chair safety features. Pretty please. Thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, all that boring stuff, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time that we make a new video. And we'll take you to the heart of scenes and mysteries of some of the most terrifying incidents, accidents, disasters, and paranormal events from around the world. Ooh, I'll see you later.